Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we got up into, we started our journey into the Great Deku Tree's stomach, or the innards of the Great Deku Tree inside of the Great Deku Tree, and we got partially through the dungeon. Today, we are going to continue through and inevitably beat this dungeon. Keep in mind, this is probably going to be the shortest dungeon you're going to see, because this dungeon definitely isn't that hard, and later ones become somewhat of a doozy. So, for now, there was just mild puzzle solving. You know, we have two unlit torches right here, and a lit torch. We take your Deku stick, light a torch, light a torch, start spamming the B button so that way I can get my sword out before my stick burns. Okay, we'll continue on into the next room. Okay, there's two things you can do in this room. Or there's something you need, you can do that you don't need to do. See that floor right there, how it's different than the rest of it? And see how there's little bits of whatever falling from the ceiling? Well, if you look up, you will see that there's these little things hanging from the ceiling there. And those are baby spider things, like baby arachnid thingies. And essentially, if you get under them, they will fall, hatch, and try and kill you. So the goal is to not do that. You can easily just walk around the room here. We can't do anything about that because it's got a bomb thing. It would just be there to waste time to try and open it on right now. And, oh, get the sword out real quick. And so now we go back through here. We crawl through this little hole here. And you should recognize this room. We were in here just a few, just last episode. Except now we're up here on this upper ledge. You know, the ledge we couldn't get to earlier. Yeah, we're, we are actually just about done with this dungeon already. Thank you. There we go. Okay, you see this block right here? You gotta push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. I might would start singing the song if I knew the song, which I do not. Which is probably a good thing, because I can't sing for crap. So, it's probably a good thing that I don't know the song, or otherwise I would start singing it. Okay, see this one? There's this spiderweb here, there's nowhere up high to fall from, so we can't fall through it, so we have to burn it. The problem is, you know, these fires up here, you can't get to. They're, they're up on blocks. You can't get up high enough to actually get these fires. So what you gotta do is you now have to go back to this one that you did, that you used a minute ago. Or earlier. See, now that this block's down, we can get back up there without having to trek back across the, across the dungeon. We can just jump over here, jump up here, Get on this, swing the fire, and be good. Now, I'm gonna warn you here. I'm going to, well, I'm going to advise you here. That's a long drop. You're into water, but it's gonna be a long climb back out. Use that little dude over there and collect at least five Deku sticks. Trust me, you are going to want them. Fall down here. Uh, go ahead and grab a recovery heart since you're missing a little, since I was missing a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one. Now remember that Deku scrub from the last episode? He told us we had to beat his brothers in a certain order. One, two, three. Well, follow his command. Right there. Twenty. Three. Is number one. Come on, dude. Let's roll into him. And there you go. How did you know our secret? How irritating! It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goomba to you! Wow, you guys are just a bunch of... yellow belly traitors, aren't you? That's so... Deku Scrubs. That's so Deku Scrub. In order to administer the coup de grace, the coup de gracie to Queen Goomba while with your sword, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that! Oh, oh lord. You guys are just a bunch of traitors. You guys suck, you know that? You guys suck so much. Or what I said. Five Deku Sticks. You want at least five coming down in here. I have ten, so we're golden. This is gonna be funny. Just... Just watch. This just, just goes to show that how much I played this game when I was younger, because I figured this junk out. Although I figure this probably isn't something to be figured out, because it's pretty obvious, you know, you have... You have your sword, and then you have Deku sticks, which are stronger than sword. 
Let's go on and get this started. Come on, Queenie. Let's get this fight underway. It is the parasitic armored arachnid Goma. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's do that. And start. Spamming Deku Sticks. Oh, crap, I, I missed it. If you do it right, you can get all five hits in one go like that. Let's wait for it. I was a little, uh, a little too far away and I accidentally hit it wrong. I did that, but if you can, especially if it's assigned to a button, like I have it assigned to an analog stick, so it's kind of more difficult to get it done right, but especially if you have it assigned to a button, stunner once, you start spamming the Deku sticks. And you can kill her in literally one set. Like I said, I'm not doing a minimalist run. I'm not doing a three heart run because that would just that would spell bad news for me. So I'm gonna do a, a normal run, get the heart containers that I find, get the heart pieces that I find, and show off as much of the story that I know about. Even for this 1990, even for this 18, good lord, this game is that old. Even for this 18 year old game. There's still stuff I don't know about it. Well done, Link. My feet are in the floor. My feet are invisible. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Of course! What else do I got to do other than go save the world? Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom, and Faror, the goddess of courage. Yeah, they don't like look at all look like Oscars with hair. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Faror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remain at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world providence. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man, with his evil heart, to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, 
I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take the stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. It's green. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, held Link to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Good bye. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. That's kind of sad, because, like, the father of the forest is now dead, you know? That's that's kind of... Ugh. Oh, great. This douche nozzle, he's back. Hey, Link, what did you do? A Great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault! I'm gonna walk over here and brood. Okay, you can go do that, Mido. You suck anyway, so. Okay, so we gotta do one quick thing before we leave the forest, just to make this a zillion times easier on me. And so that way I don't have to come back and do it later. What we need to do is we need to go climb up here. Let's go, 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 go. We'll be coming back. We will be coming back here later, but I'm like, I want to go on and do this now because it does make things a bit easier to go ahead and get this done, and then we'll come back later. Just you don't have to worry as much if you go ahead and can I actually can I even do this now? Yeah, I can. What you got to do is you got to hit three or five bullseyes right in a row. Three. It's not hard to do because the the boot, the slingshot doesn't change its aim once you start hit it once you get it set so you can just spam it. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. And so he spits a bag, a satchel at me. Hooray! Take a bullet bag. This bag can hold up to forty slingshot bullets. Sweet. Yeah, there's not really much else I can slash want to do in here now. That's all I wanted to do for for the time being. So now we can move forward and head towards the palace. We leave the forest here and we make our way. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it, to it. Prove it. Oh, you're leaving? I... I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link, because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I, I want you to have this ocarina. Please, take good care of it. The sweet potato flute! Awesome. You received the fairy ocarina. This is a memento from Saria. Set it to C and press C to start playing it. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to left, down, or right C button, and then use the C button that you assigned it to to start playing. You can play different notes with A and the four C buttons. Press B to quit playing, or to start your song over again. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit.
One step. Two step. Run away! I don't want to deal with relationships. No! Alrighty, everybody. Welcome to Hyrule Field and the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I certainly have enjoyed bringing it to you so far. Tune in next time as we continue our way through the wonderful realm of Hyrule and start exploring Hyrule Field and go meet up with some interesting people, starting with that owl you saw just then. Although he's not interesting, he's just annoying. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again next time. Again, thank you for watching. Peace!